What's up nail fiends? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I am actually finally sitting down and sharing with you guys my updated nail room tour. I have been wanting to show you guys the little bits and bobs that I've tweaked here and there for ages but I've never been truly happy with how things are looking and I'm I had to come to a little bit of a conclusion with myself that I'm always going to be changing things here and there, that it's always going to be like an ongoing project. So I thought, you know what, I am just going to show you guys what I did, show you the differences from my last one and so on and so forth. I did get a few little new bits of furniture here and there. So I'll talk you guys through everything that I got. If I could remember where I got it from, I will also share that with you and I'll show you a little bit of my collection. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. So lovelies, diving right in with today's video and I just wanted to begin by showing you a little bit of a progress, sort of how things were to what they were like eventually. So in terms of changing the room, I did go ahead and add a new desk, a new chair, some new shelves, some new pictures and things like that. But in terms of my big pieces of furniture, it pretty much stayed the same from my last room tour, which was, um, I think it was like in the beginning of 2018. So yeah, other than the desk and a few other little bits and bobs, not much has changed, but it was mostly I want, I tweaked a little bit of the colour and things like that. So yeah, I did change up my drawers, I sort out my nail polish racks, um, I did a huge massive declutter of my nail polish stash, um, I have a full one of those Helmer drawers full of regular nail polish that I still have to deal with but I just have no bloody idea of what to actually do with it. So yeah, today I have thought I would just share with you guys all of the updates and show you guys a little bit of my collection. So let's dive right into it so guys diving right in with this video and the first part of the furniture i wanted to share with you is my new sort of accessory bit this is where i keep all of my personal documents all of my um nail school supplies and things like that so that was that great piece of furniture beside that and then the next big piece of furniture that is new to my room is my nail desk i was super lucky to receive that as a gift from my mum for christmas so i have two of the alex drawers and then i also have the linman tabletop and then as you can see pretty much the only thing that's changed is I got myself a new car to add some of my supplies and then I changed the shelves so beginning with the desk guys as you can see it is the Ikea drawers I have two of those and then I have the Linman tabletop and I also have a really pretty ghost chair it is so gorgeous but it's uncomfy as hell so on top of that I just keep this pillow which is actually my mum's she got it when she had piles <laughs> it is so bloody comfortable and I don't think I will be changing it in a hurry so yeah I have a pile pillow that I am absolutely in love with on there as well <laughs> and then underneath my desk I just keep a like a, a wire basket and that has my monomers and things like that in it it also has my wires and stuff like that all set in the back there as well and then I have a vanity case underneath there that just has some extra hand creams and things like that so I'm just showing you here on top of my desk I still have that piece of glass that is too small for the desk but it's absolutely perfect for just sitting there and protecting my desk from any spills in that when I'm doing nails and then on top of the, my desk I have some of these little pots inside they just have my acrylic brushes and nail art tools some nail files and also some other tools that I will use during my nail art projects um, they're basically there because they're just easy access for me to grab not only for myself but also when I have some clients in I then have my sun for UV lamp and also my white nail rest beside that is another new piece of kit this is basically the Rav um, odor extractor I love it it's really good at neutralizing the smell of monomer and things like that which is great considering I suffer from migraines so it does help greatly with the smell of that and then I also have the, the Ravier flexi arm which is just that odd shaped like lamp type thing up there and that is basically my dust extractor and then I have my bell e-file and my LED lamp so guys above my desk I still have my two nail polish racks I will probably never get rid of these I am in love with them and I pretty much match the rest of my room to suit these so I have like I said two of these and these house all of my favorite gel polishes so on the first two rows as you can see I have all of my premier gels and then underneath them I have a row of nail nails and then two rows of ink London I, I have their three-step gels and also their one step um, and then underneath that I have all of 
of my KT Londons, so they take up the first two and a half rows. Beside those, I have some of nail nails, sorry. Then I have some semi lac, and then at the very bottom, I have my colorettes. And I have just gone ahead and added ring pops so everyone could see what colors are there for when they're choosing for their designs. And then just above those shelves, I have my notebook and some swatch sticks that I keep for when I need to do stamping swatches. They're already painted. And then switching that camera right around, I'm just showing you guys the shelves and things like that. But before I dive into what's actually on my shelves and stuff, I wanted to share with you another little bit of furniture that I have added to my collection. This isn't really furniture. It's more of a storage sort of situation. This is my cart that I got from... Hobbycraft, I saw lots of people use the Ikea one, but I got this one for £25 from Hobbycraft um, and it matches the colour of my brand logo, so I love it. So in this first one, um, I have these Ikea God Morgan set. I got the idea from Talia's Nail Tales and this basically houses all of my essentials that I take to my kitchen with me when I'm doing people's nails for my nail course. So in that first one, as you can see, all I had was different kinds of nail files, buffers, um, scrubbing brushes and that kind of stuff then I have two different kinds of lint-free wipes the paper ones and then the more cotton type ones and then I have some cotton buds some cotton rams and then another little container that houses my acrylic cutters and also my um, sanding bands and then guys, we are moving on to the second tray in this little storage compartment. And then I also have some more of those IKEA storage um, containers. And inside there, I keep, again, some more essentials. So we have my nail file, e-file bits. We have some acrylic color blocking knife sets. I keep my little bag here that has sponges in it for gradients. Some little empty containers for mixing glitters. And then we have some essentials, such as my barbicide jar, my hand cream, my cuticle remover and also my hand sanitizer. And then off to the side there I just have my nail glues and my dusting brushes in the back there. And then I also keep some buffing blocks, some hand masks and then my two manicure sets. And then in the bottom one, we have some lint rollers, some couch roll, basically some little swatch sticks, some extra filming equipment such as my mics and some extra um, memory cards. We then have some blue tack for when I'm doing nail art on my practice tips, some removal foils, and then I have a crap ton of these little jars that I use for monomer. So guys, starting just at that wall where my desk is. So I still have that nail polish rack there, but this time it is housing all of my gel paints. So whether they're spider gels, 3D gels or gel pastes or that kind of stuff, they all are there. Next to that, I have some inspirational quotes that, that just keep me a little bit motivated and a little bit happy when I look at them. Above that, I have my polish sign that was made for me by one of my lovely nail friends that I have met in this community. I absolutely adore it. And then off to the side I just have a little bit of a decorative nail shelf type thing that houses all of my rings for when I'm taking my nail photos and also some hand cream and cuticle oil. And then we are moving up to those two large shelves which I have new ones. I have now got grey ones as opposed to the white ones because the white ones just got so dirty with nail polish and stuff like that. So I went with grey this time. And then as you can see I just have a few decorative pieces on that. I have a little, um, little canvas that says leave a little sparkle wherever you go and home is where the heart is. I then have a little acrylic container there that houses all of my dirty nail arts, uh, nail tools, sorry. So whenever I've just finished doing something, I will pop them in there and sterilize all of my tools together. Above that, I just have some marble, a marble vase with some really nice blush pink roses in it. And then I have these two new containers. These are marble makeup brush holders, but I am using them for my gel brushes, my nail art brushes, and also my acrylic brushes they were quite cheap and available on Amazon and then beside those I also have a little marble bag that just has all of my makeup brushes in it and then beside them I have some more decorative pieces and also some little vases that house the rest of my filming equipment such as batteries and that and then I have three Chanel pictures that I got they're really beautiful grey blush and black 
And now guys, we are swinging back around to my nail desk and I will show you everything that's in the drawers. So first up, we have my bling drawer. You guys have saw this when I did my last um, organisation video. But it has grown a little bit now that I have sorted the rest of my collection out. So I have all of my Swarovski crystals, all of my cheaper Japanese pieces, basically everything bling related, whether I got them from um, Smiley's Glitter Store, which I absolutely love by the way. I have quite a collection of her crystals and bling and um, these are some new pieces that you saw in my recent haul so I basically have everything in their own little containers I also keep all of my adhesives and my wax picking tool things like that in there as well then in drawer number two, this is just a basic random nail art drawer. So I have all of my chrome powders, my pigments, all of my little flakies. I also keep some extra little nail tips and that kind of stuff in here. So again, this is also the IKEA God Morgan set and also a few different acrylic sets that I picked up from Amazon. And I've tried to keep this drawer as clean as I possibly can. But you guys will know the struggle when you have a big um, sort of nail art collection. It is a little bit difficult to keep everything together and everything neat and in one place so I try my hardest to make sure I've got everything split up into their categories and that kind of stuff so as you guys could see next up I have some nail foils and things that I would encapsulate in the nail and then I also have my foils and that kind of stuff then I have all of my mixing glitter, uh, glitter sorry so these are glitters that I have recently been accumulating and sorting out that I am using for mixing up my own glitters we also have have some foils, um, some pigments and just basically washi tape, um, nail foil, angel paper, all of that good stuff is basically rampacked into this drawer. So moving on with drawer number three, and this is most definitely one of my favourite drawers ever. This is one of my glitter drawers. This is basically where I keep a few different kinds of glitter. First up, I have my glitter folder. I actually got this one from Smiley's Glitter Store, I believe. And it's just basically a clear folder, and I house all of my packets of glitter. They are mostly from a, &A Glitter and also um, Glitter Planet UK. I love being able to see all of my glitters, so I fully intend on filling this up to the brink because it's an amazing way to store your glitter and you don't have to go hunting for them and then I have a few of these little acrylic holders here and these just hold my glitter shakers from Hobbycraft so these are all different colours and they are absolutely amazing for mixing up my glitters and then I have two of these Ikea spice racks and these just hold the majority of my whites, silver and black glitters that um, are not in my drawers which I will show you later and then then I also again have more Hobbycraft glitters here that I use for mixing up my own glitters. You will remember that from my last video. So this drawer is basically going to be ever changing because there's always things going in and coming out. But I just love how neat and tidy everything is. And I'm showing you how happy I am to have found these little satchets from Hobbycraft. They have so many of these and they are ubber gorgeous. So yeah guys, this drawer I have tried my hardest to keep it as tidy as I possibly can but it is one of those drawers that I use the most of so I'm always in and out of there taking things out, put, um, using things, buying things and putting them back so this drawer is probably going to be ever changing but I just wanted to share with you the remainder of my glitter collection that isn't in my new storage system. So this is mostly my whites, my silvers, my blacks and the greens which are colours I don't use too much of. Then we move on with drawer number four and this one once again has one of those Ikea God Morgan um, storage compartments but this one is just one piece and it fit absolutely perfect into this container. So I have all of my nail art supplies guys in this one and when I say all of my supplies I mean all of my nail art supplies. It has all of my female bits and bobs that I have for making my own 3D flowers. It has a lot of 3D nail arts, encapsulating material, all of my acrylic moulds, my real flowers, all of my ribbons, my um, little containers that have all of my flakes, my water decals, my striping tapes, my cutting wires, my encapsulating material. I'm not kidding when I say this guys, this drawer is absolutely jam packed but that um, little Ikea God Morgan set holds a crap ton and it fits everything in there perfectly. 
So now we're moving on to the final drawer in this IKEA set and this one isn't quite as tidy as I would like it at the moment but it currently houses all of my stamping supplies which are in those little wallets. I then have my stampers and scrapers in that acrylic drawer there and then it just has like some giveaway prizes, some, my hot glue gun and then my flexi hand. So guys, we are now moving on to the second set of Ikea drawers and this is where I house most of my gels and acrylic. So in this first drawer, I have all of my base and top coats, all of my cover gels, all of my rubber base coats and top coats. And then in this next one, I have all of my um, dehydrators, primers, my appray system, my nail forms and things like that. I just currently got some Kirsty Meekin nail forms, which I'm really looking forward to trying. And then we move on to drawer number two, which is more gels. So in this first one, we have all of my poly gels. So these are, whether they are cheap or more expensive, they are all housed in this little container here. And then in the one beside it, this is all my cover gels, my clear gels, my builder gels, and all of my hard gels. Then we move on to drawer number three, which is my acrylic drawer. So again, I have two of the plastic storage bins. In the first one, this is all of my colored acrylics, mixed brands. It doesn't matter what brands they are, all of my colors are in that one set. And then in the one beside it, this is all of my clear, white, and covered powders, also pink ones as well. Off to the side there, I have some acrylic nail art kits and then some mini acrylic kits from, um, Crystal Nails and also Glitter Planet UK that I have to try out. Then we move on with drawer number four, which is a little bit bare at the moment, and this just currently houses all of my inks. So these are little bottles of nail art ink from um, AliExpress, Hobbycraft, and also Glitter Planet UK's new ones. I also have my Flexi Hand, the fingers for that, and then my alcohol ink pens. So this drawer is a little bit bare and not quite finished yet. So guys, we are now moving on to the very last drawer in my Alex set, and this is just basically where I keep more essentials, such as um, gel polish soak-off clips, my sterilizing tools, my gloves, and my soak-off balls. So moving over from that part of the wall, guys, I then have this sort of little nook area here, and this houses three different pieces of furniture. So we have the mam dresser, some cubes, and then also the Helmer drawers. These are still part of my collection, and they just fit perfectly into that corner. So starting with that, I have just basically some shelves that have some decorative pieces on it. The top of that has my perfumes and things like that. I then have my cube shelves, which houses all of my bottles such as my removers, my nail cleansers, my sanitizers and that kind of stuff. I then have some of my glitter collection. This is pretty much the majority of it. I wanted to display them a little bit more so I got these boxes from Amazon and these are actually for washi tape and just look at how much glitter fits in each of these drawers. I'm not even kidding guys, you get absolutely crap ton of these little 10 milliliter jars in here. So I have them slightly done by colour. I am not too fussy about them being absolutely perfect. I also have all of my stackers, my magpie glitters and then the rest of my collection in another one of those little washi tape drawers. Then I completely forgot to show you guys the side of the cube that sits next to this one, but that one just has all of my tiny little pots of glitter in another one of those really nice little cube drawers. Then we move to my Helmer drawers and these are basically where things get so untidy. So in that first drawer there is my gel polish overflow. This is all po other gel polishes I can't fit on my shelf. Then we move on to drawer number two which is my stamping polishes. Drawer number three is some more gel polishes and some regular polishes. Then the same with the other ones, we just have more regular nail polishes. I did have a massive regular nail polish collection before I got into um, my gel polishes. So I still have pretty much a full Helmer full of them. I then have all of my um, Madame Glam gel polishes and my regular base coats and nail strengtheners. In this next drawer, this is basically just another essentials drawer. Has some wires, some storage solutions and also my nail polish shaker. 
Underneath that, I have my first drawer of tips. These are all my full cover tips and my practice tips and also my appray tips. And then underneath that is all of the tips I use for my extensions. And then this next drawer is just my pedicure drawer. I have um, a couple of little storage pouches here that just have all of my tools in it. I use different tools for my toes as I do for my fingers. Then we have just some files, hand creams and a pumice stone. And then underneath that, I keep all the rest of my bottles such as acetone, remover and isopropyl alcohol. Then just over beside those cube shelves I have this mam dresser and this is basically where I house all of my personal stuff so my makeup collection and things like that but you guys always like to have a little nosy here so as you can see not much has changed other than it has shrunk quite a bit I did do a huge humongous de-stash of my makeup collection and I just have that one drawer and some acrylic drawers full then I have all of my face creams and my body creams my deodorants my perfumes um well mist sprays and things like that then i have all of my acrylic paints for my nail art as you can see that drawer is completely busting i need to sort that out i just haven't got around to it yet and then finally for the mam dresser i have my hair supplies then guys i have my tv and then also my skybox and that kind of stuff i have a really nice leafy green plant there and then i have my foot supplies and that's pretty much it so guys that is us reached the end of today's video and i'm really sorry for my waffling i did completely film this video with me talking along with you guys showing you everything and then i lost the footage of my um audio so i just had to wing this um sort of voiceover to match this video so i hope i did a good job for you guys and i also hope you guys enjoyed having a little nosy at my new updated nail space and remember guys if you're interested in a specific sort of collection tour or a more in-depth look at what i actually have definitely let me know in the comment section below and i could sort that out for you guys no problem at all but i just wanted to show you guys my updated nail space and finally lovelies to end off today's video if you did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up i would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime i upload a new video and as always if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you guys in the next one bye